Senator Cynthia Loomis and Kirsten Gillibrand introduced a bipartisan crypto bill on Tuesday, seeking to extend a comprehensive set of restrictions to all digital assets in the United States. This would exclude small-scale purchases of goods and services from taxation by making transactions under $200 tax-free, perhaps paving the way for a cryptocurrency that acts more like a fiat currency. The bill will also provide the Commodity Futures Trading Commission with increased authority and a dominating presence. It will first establish a boundary between crypto assets and commodities, allowing token issuers to know ahead of time what they are launching based on the asset's purpose and the rights or powers it grants to the customer. The plan envisions a market dominated by commodities, which would include most of the big names in crypto, including Bitcoin, Ether and dozens of other tokens with considerable market share that would come under the CFTC's definition of ancillary assets. Following the recent controversy over consumer tokens connected to an exchange's assets, in the case of the firm's insolvency, it also gives much-needed legal clarification on how customer assets will be handled. Finally, in light of the recent spectacular collapse of TerraUSD, the bill shifts toward 100% reserve, asset type and extensive disclosure requirements for all stablecoin payment providers will be closely evaluated. Trade the global markets with HF Markets. Open a live account at www.hfeu.com.